Hello everyone, this is Debbie Henderson from Debbie's Designs. Welcome to my monthly Paper Pumpkin Alternatives class. I'm going to give everyone a few seconds to join me this morning. Just getting ready on my iPad. So this, this month's kit was all about coordination with three of our suites from the Stamping Up Annual Catalog. So if you happen to have the three suites or you have the chance to buy them, these work well with all three of these card kits. The Woven Thread Suite, the Garden Lane Suite, and the Come Sail Away Suite. So these are the three cards that came with our kit this month. There's three of each. Let me show you what they look like all completed. And good morning, everyone. I'm so glad you're joining me. So the first one has this cute little dot embossed background with a couple flags, banners, some leaves and branches. And then we have a couple of the sequins uh, glued in the background. The second card is more of a masculine card with the sailboat and the ship's wheel, lots of layers. Another pretty card. And the last one is mostly uh, banners with designer paper and again, sequins in the background. Now, before I get started, I wanted to show you two cards that I created for a blog hop that happened last week. The first one, all I did was use the medallion image that came with the set and I created a background and I used our new flower um, I can't remember what these these are called, but the colors were perfect to go with the Coastal Cabana and the Terracotta Tile. So this was one card I made for the blog hop. And the other one was this one. Now what I did with this one is I used the envelopes that came with the kit and I cut up the envelopes so I could use the designer paper that you see in the background. And then these are the stitch nested dies and I cut it flat on the bottom and use that as a layer. And then I just cut up the sentiment in three pieces and then use the sailboat die cut. So let's get started with card number one today. Let me show you what I'm using for supplies. I'm using the Timeless Label Punch, Knight of Navy and Whisper White ink pads. Here's my sentiment. I've got an aqua painter and I'm using um, the new, oh, you know what? I didn't write down the name of this folder. I'm gonna have to look it up in the catalog. It's the one that has all the, the waves of water. I'm not sure if it's called waves or not. I've gone ahead and embossed one ahead of time because I'm going to show you what I did with it. And let me bring in the layers I'm using. I'm using the craft, uh, card base that came with the kit that has the bumpy polka dots on it. I'm using one of the Dale Cuts die cut sailboats, Whisper White, three and a half by three and a half. This again is one of the envelopes that I have cut up, three and a quarter by three and a quarter. I'm using two of the die cut clouds that came with the kit. And then this is what I did with the embossing folder. I added some white ink and that's what I'm going to use on this card. But I did another one here just so I could show you how I did that. And then lastly is the sentiment layer. So how I did that is I squeezed my whisper white. Oh, Lori says it's called high seas. So this embossing folder, high seas. Thanks, Lori, because I forget to write it down. So I now have some ink and the lid of my ink pad. I'm going to use my aqua painter and pick up some ink. And all I did was add some white where you can see the embossing. And you'll notice that it looks dark, but once this dries, it dries very light. So it just adds a little bit of detail to your waves. And that's all I did. And then once it dries, like I said, it dries really nice and, and a little bit lighter and it looks great. So now let's go ahead and assemble this card. I'm going to go ahead and do the sentiment with Knight of Navy. 
I don't normally um, cut my cardstock ahead of time, but I wanted to place it on my card ahead of time to make sure it looked well. So there's my happy birthday. And this card is actually pretty easy. Now I'm going to add stamping dimensional on the designer paper layer from the envelopes that I cut up. The designer paper in the envelopes was really neat this month. There's three different patterns. So I'm going to glue that to the Whisper White layer. Next, I'm going to add the little waves that I just made. This is a little bit longer, but I'm going to trim it to fit. That goes right there. And then I'm going to glue my little sailboat. I'm gonna tuck that under the, the little waves. And then glue this to the card front. So you can see on this one, I really didn't add a lot of new supplies. All I added was the Whisper White, the designer paper from the envelope, and a piece of the Balmy Blue. Now I'm going to tuck some of the clouds in behind the sailboat. I'm going to have to cut this one just a tad. And lastly, I'm going to add the sentiment right below. So there's card number one. How easy was that? And again, all I needed was the white and the balmy blue to add to the uh, kit, the supplies that already came with the kit. So now let's move on to card number two. So you can see that the three patterns from the envelope, I'm using this one on the second card, and then we had the striped, and then we had the map. So very nice layers. For this one, I'm using the Sahara Sand card base that came with the kit. In color, faceted gems, the envelope liner. I've gone ahead and cut the designer paper to measure four and a half by three. I snipped off a one inch piece from the envelope and it's five and a quarter inches long. And what I'm going to do with the envelope liner, I'm bringing the butterfly duet punch in. I'm gonna punch two butterflies. And then I'm using terracotta tile for my ink color only because we have terracotta tile on the designer paper. Now the, the circle is actually mint macaron, but I'm gonna flip it over to the white side. There's my sentiment. So now we can just go ahead and glue, and I've got two of the little branches that came with the kit. I'm gonna glue that over to the left. Add the designer paper about three quarters of an inch from the left side. And then I'm gonna glue the sentiment in place with stamping dimensionals. That's gonna go right here. Next is the little branches. We'll add some liquid glue. And then I'm going to glue the butterflies using the mini dimensionals. So that one's gonna go right there. And I can't pick that up. We'll add the little one above it. And then all I've got left is the little gems. 
I'm going to start with the smallest, medium, and large. So there's card number two. So I've got one more left to show you. These are all pretty quick. So again, on this one, the only, only item that I added was the in color gems and the butterfly punch. Everything else is in with your kit. Now let's go to card number three. Now this one I did add a little bit of the supplies that coordinate from the woven threads. I wanted to use this little leftover piece from uh, punching out the, let me see if I can bring that card back in. So this little ship's wheel, this is just the guts after we punch them out. I am using Seaside Spray cardstock, eight inches by seven, scored at four. I've got two pieces of Whisper White. I'm going to do the inside of the card this time. Six and three quarter by three and three quarter. So let me go ahead and glue one on the inside. So both white pieces measure the same, one for the inside and one for the outside. Let me go ahead and use my bone folder to flatten out the score line. Whoops. So once I've got this glued in place, my next layer is the Woven Threads Designer Paper. This measures six and a half by three. Now you will need to create a special envelope because of the card size on this one. Okay, that's gonna go right in the center. And then I have a scrap piece of white. This measures five and seven eighths by two and a quarter. I do have a chunk out in the corner, but it's going to be covered anyway. That goes right in the center. And then I've gone ahead and added mini dimensionals to my little die cut. So I'm going to glue that in place. I just thought it was a shame to, to throw this away because it's such a neat piece. And you know, card makers, we like to do three, three of everything. So there's three holes there to use. That's going to go right on top. Let me get it centered. And then I am using the medallion image, the shell image, crumb cake and seaside spray. I've gone ahead and cut three of the seaside spray with the one and three eighths scallop circle punch. And I'm going to stamp all three of them. Now again, it's probably easier to stamp and punch first, but because of time, I wanted to get these done ahead of time. And I've also gone ahead and, and stamped two of the shells with crumb cake and cut them out by hand. So now I'm going to glue these in place. And they slide right in there. Oh, and a reminder, if you are on the Paper Pumpkin Facebook page for Stamping Up, they're going to do a live video today. I can't remember what time. You'll need to go check their page. And I'm going to be one of the featured stampers, so I'll have more alternative projects that I sent in for them to uh, showcase. I think I sent them like seven projects, so you'll have a lot to see there. Okay, here's the shell. I've added stamping dimensionals. I'm gonna go opposite on this one. So one's facing the left and one's facing the right. I've added the little paper clip that came with the kit to the banner. And I'm going to be stamping the Hello Friend. 
with seaside spray. And lastly, we're going to glue this in place with dimensionals. And I'm going to stamp a few of the seashells on the inside of the card. So I'm going to actually put this on here at an angle so you can see the cute little paper clip. And now let's open up the inside. And we'll just do a few shells along the bottom. There, and this that's card number three. So let me bring them all in in case you tuned in late. And don't forget to subscribe by the 10th if you want to uh, take part in the August kit. So here are my three cards. And then these were the other two alternates that I showed you. And then the cards that came with the kit. So I hope you enjoyed my cards for today and I hope you'll uh, consider being a subscriber. Just make sure you go to my Paper Pumpkin store to subscribe by August 10th. And I will see you guys soon. I have another Facebook Live coming up this week. I can't remember what day, but I'll announce it on my Facebook page. Have a good week, everyone.